Hey guys, welcome to Dental Mate. Today in this video, we'll be talking about dentine hypersensitivity. Let's get started. First of all, what is dentine hypersensitivity? It is a dental pain, which is dental pain, which is sharp in character and of shorter duration arising from the exposed dentine surface in response to stimuli. There could be any stimuli, heat, cold, whatever. But because of this stimuli, what happens is the dentine surface is exposed and when the stimuli reacts to that dentine surface, there is a sharp pain of shorter duration. This is known as dentine hypersensitivity. What are the symptoms of it? Sharp sudden pain in response to the external stimulus okay in 75 percent of the people cold is the most common trigger causing dentine hypersensitivity the other stimulus could be thermal electrical mechanical osmotic evaporation or chemicals now if we talk about the etiology then the main cause of dentinal hypersensitivity is gingival recession. Because of the gingival recession, the root surfaces are exposed. There is loss of the cementum and the smear layer of the root. And this causes tooth wear. Along with that, there could be other causes could be long term trauma, excessive forceful brushing or abrasive toothpaste. Any, any uh, like uh, etiological cause which leads to the exposure of the dentine surface might cause dentine hypersensitivity. See, these are the gums. They have receded down. And the cementum and the smear layer, this layer would be abraded. So the dentine would be exposed leading to dentinal hypersensitivity to cold or heat, electrical, mechanical, osmotic, evaporative or chemical stimuli. Now, there have been various theories of pain transmission through the dentine. Why the dentinal hypersensitivity is being seen? So, three different types of theories have been uh, laid down or postulated for pain conduction through the dentine. First, is the direct neural stimulation theory next is the transduction theory and the third one is the hydrodynamic theory okay now first if we talk about the direct neural stimulation or the direct innovation theory see this is the odontoblasts which are present in the pulp this is the predentine layer this is the dentine layer. These are the dentinal tubules, three dentinal tubules in which the odontoblastic processes are present. This is the brain. Jahan se saare signals aayenge, tabhi to pain feel hoga. Nerves hi conduct karte na saare signals. Okay. First of all, if we talk about the direct innervation theory. According to this theory, the nerve endings in the dentine. See, pulp, dentine, Predentine, odontoblasts. This is thalamus. Now, according to the direct innovation theory, there are certain nerve endings which are present in the dentine. Dentine mein nerve endings hai, which when stimulated because of any stimuli, koi bhi stimuli ho sakta I have already told you what all stimuli could it be. Now, when these nerve endings are stimulated, it evokes a painful response. This is the direct innovation theory. Now, why is this theory rejected? This theory is rejected because no nerve fibers could be demonstrated going to dentino enamel junction, which is the most sensitive area. The dentinal sensitivity, it cannot solely depend on the stimulation of such nerve endings. And the topical NST 
aesthesia sorry topical application of local anesthetics they do not abolish sensitivity agar aise hi dentine mein kuch nerve nerve findings or nerve fibers present hote to if we apply topically wahan pe anesthetic solution hum apply karenge to fir ye jo pain hai ye sensitivity hai ye abolish ho jani chahiye thi okay but aisa kuch nahi hua so these are the three drawbacks of the direct stimulation theory next is the transduction theory according to this theory what is said the odontoblastic process is the primary structure excited by the stimulus see ye odontoblastic ye jo stimulus hai ye odontoblastic process ko excite kar raha hai yahan pe directly kya bola ki nerve endings then nerve endings are present in the dentine stimulus aaya in nerve endings ko stimulate kiya aur sensitivity hui that was the direct stimulation theory ट्रांसडक्शन थ्योरी में क्या बोल रहे हैं स्टिम्यूलाई जो है इट इज एक्साइटिंग वॉट द ओडोन्टोब्लास्टिक प्रोसेस इज प्रेजेंट विद इन द ट्रिब्यूल्स ओके नाउ फ्रॉम द इनर डेंटीन द स्टिम्यूलस इज ट्रांसमिटेड टू द थैलेमस ओके ओडोन्टोब्लास्टिक प्रोसेस से इनर डेंटीन इनर डेंटीन से थैलेमस एंड देन इट इज परसिव एज डेंटीनल हाइपर सेंसिटिविटी now this theory is also not popular because the odontoblasts these are derived from the neural crest cells and they retain the ability although they are derived from neural crest cells they retain the ability to transmit and propagate the impulse but there are no neurotransmitters present in the gap junction between the odontoblast to facilitate the synapse okay कोई भी न्यूरो ट्रांसमीटर्स प्रेजेंट नहीं है जिसकी वजह से ये साइन एप स्पेसिलिटेट हो सके सो दिस इज अ ड्रॉबैक समटाइम्स वॉट वॉट कैन हैपन इज द ओडोन्टोब्लास दे मे मॉडिफाई द लोकल आयनिक इन्वायरमेंट एंड दे ऑल्टर द थ्रेश होल्ड ऑफ द इंट्राडेंटिनल नर्व सो दिस वॉज द ट्रांसडक्शन थ्योरी नाउ टॉकिंग अबाउट द मोस्ट एक्सेप्टेड थ्योरी till date for the dentine hypersensitivity which is the hydrodynamic theory see according to this theory the dentinal tubules they contain a fluid which is dental lymph so this is the dental lymph present in the dentinal tubules now what happens is various stimuli such as air blast desiccation or whatever stimuli i have told you heat cold whatever because of this stimuli the fluid movement is affected now due to the cold stimuli this fluid moves inward whereas due to the drying of the exposed dentinal tubules the these fluid they move outward ye jo dentinal lymph hai present in dentinal tubule ye inward ya outward movement show karega agar koi cold stimuli hai to inward move karega agar koi drying stimuli hai to fir wo outward move karega okay because of the movement of the uh, dental lymph within the dentinal tubules dekho ye outward or inward move kiya outward drying stimuli se inward cold stimuli se ab is movement ki wajah se kya hota hai ek pain mechanism is stimulated in the tubules by the mechanical disturbances of the nerves which are closely associated with the odontoblasts and its processes ओके, बिकॉज ऑफ दिस यहां पे एक पेन स्टिम्युलेट होगा दस द एंडिंग्स दे मे एक्ट एज अ मैकेनो रिसेप्टर ओके मतलब जैसे ये फ्लूड मूवमेंट होगा तो ये जो नर्व एंडिंग्स हैं, दे एक्ट एज अ मैकेनो रिसेप्टर एंड अ पेन इज स्टिम्युलेटेड सो दीज आर बेसिकली द नर्व एंडिंग्स आर बेसिकली अफेक्टेड बाय द मैकेनिकल डिस्प्लेसमेंट ऑफ द ट्यूबुलर फ्लूड फ्लूड का डिस्प्लेसमेंट हुआ नर्व एंडिंग्स प्रेजेंट हैं, दे आर गेटिंग एक्टिवेटेड ओके द नर्व एंडिंग्स आर स्टिम्युलेटेड बिकॉज ऑफ विच द पेन इज फेल्ट टू द पेशेंट दिस इज नोन एज डेंटीन हाइपर सेंसिटिविटी एंड हेंस हाइड्रोडाइनमिक थ्योरी इज द फार मोस्ट एक्सेप्टेड थ्योरी फॉर डेंटीन हाइपर सेंसिटिविटी नाउ इफ वी टॉक अबाउट ट्रीटमेंट देन nerve desensitization can be performed with potassium nitrate protein pre precipitation can be done with silver nitrate dentine adhesive sealers can be used like fluoride varnishes 
and lasers can also be practiced. If we talk about prevention of dentin hypersensitivity, then gingival recession and cervical tooth wear can be avoided by healthy dietary and oral hygiene practices. Non-traumatic brushing techniques should be followed which help to prevent receding gums and limited acid consumption to prevent the erosion of the enamel. This is it about dentin hypersensitivity. Stay tuned. Keep visiting. Thank you.